Tonight we're celebrating the Athletic Sports Spring Banquet. We're celebrating all of the sports uh, that happen in the spring. Tonight we'll be celebrating uh, boys and girls soccer, the boys and girls basketball team, our baseball, girls softball, our tennis teams, our boys and girls track team. We have a new sport this year called game design, eSports, golf, powerlifting, tennis and track. It's very important for us to celebrate these athletes. They have worked hard all year long. Most of these athletes participate in two and three sports. Uh, so you can just imagine the dedication that it takes uh, for them to work together as a team, to achieve their accomplishments. And this year they've had a pretty good run. Uh, we've got kids that have won state uh, events and it's just important to celebrate all of their hard work everything that the coaches have done, uh, the parents, the sacrifices that they have made for the students, and it's just a time to celebrate all of their hard work. The kids at Stafford Municipal School District are top notch. We have the best athletes with the best support from their parents anywhere else in the United States. Our kids do more with less than anybody else that I've ever seen. Many of them are in athletics, they're also in the band, and they're also in academic UIL, all at the same time. And they perform at high levels. So congratulations to each of you for all of your accomplishments. I thank the world of you. Thank you to, to parents and to all the coaches for all the endless time that everybody has put forth to making this event a very special event where we celebrate the accomplishments of all of our kids uh, from the athletic trainers, cheerleaders, and all the sports that we offer here at Stafford High School. Just uh, remember to always work your hardest and everything will always pay off at the end. And tonight is a, a special night that we did just that. We celebrated all everybody's hard work, everybody's effort, everybody's commitment to this program and to becoming the best they can. And it was clear tonight what we did. So continue to do that, have goals for yourself, and work every day to achieve them. Well, we really appreciate the coaches, the, all the sacrifice that they make. You know, oftentimes they have to leave their families, they're away from them uh, because of all the different practices and, you know, when they go attend the meets and stuff. So uh, it's important to celebrate uh, the sacrifice that they have made for our students. What comes to mind is that it takes a village to raise one. And what we have here tonight is a village. And our village consists of the athletes, the parents, the coaches, the administrative staff. It takes all of us working together to make this a successful program. Um, and we never want to underestimate uh, the sacrifices they, they've made. So tonight is just a little celebration, a little thank you, uh, some good food, uh, good uh, care packages that we provided for all of our senior athletes just to say thank you. A lot of the athletes have been together uh, since sixth and seventh grade. Uh, we've really become family. I'm proud of everything that they have done. My prayer is that this foundation uh, that was established, uh, the goals, uh, the accomplishments, the letdowns, the encouragement, you know, the good and the bad, that these tools that they can take with them into the next level of their life. When they go on to college, you know, they'll be able to look back and reflect you know, on choices and consequences. Look back on the sacrifice that they made and then they won, you know, those particular events. Uh, it just, it took the sacrifice, you know, it, it took maybe missing uh, going shopping or whatever because I had to be at practice and it paid off. And I just pray that they will remember these things uh, in the days to come.